doing today beautiful amazing people how are you doing uh oh trying to turn on the volume happy third tuesday oh my god it's tuesday my people it's election day i was about to say thursday so forgive me <laughs> i felt like i slept on the wrong side there right it is Tuesday, it's election day, my people. So if you have not voted yet, get out and vote and vote and vote and vote and keep voting until you can't vote no more. But welcome to this live, guys. I was really contemplating on whether to come live or not. I'm going to just be real honest here today. Um, but I'm here. That's why I got no caption, right? Because, you know, I figured let's just do this. People will join in or maybe they're on their way to vote who knows? But some a lot of people have already voted already, exactly. So awesome, awesome. I see you in there, Mr. Raphael. How are you doing? Don't forget to like the video as you come in as well. Let me refresh on this side, guys. One moment. It is very, very sunny today, and the weather is much better than yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yesterday morning, it was 31 degrees, and right now it's already the 50s, so... It is a much nicer day today. Thank God for that. Because I can't take when it's too cold. Vanny is reminding, remember to love and like as you come in. Amen and amen. Yes, indeed. And thank you all for everyone that does. That's the first thing that you do when you come in the morning. You like or love before you enter. I know some people say that they are not able to, you know, Sorry for whatever challenges you're experiencing there. Hopefully it'll get better, right? But I feel like sometimes, <laughs> not yet, I feel I'm always a last minute person, right? Which is terrible. But you know, that's because I got a lot of things going on. So that's to be expected. Someone had put in here two weeks as well ago 
about um, online, getting glasses online, if you got a prescription, right? I can't remember if it was Selma or somebody else had put that in here. Please put it again, my people, because I did my appointment. <coughs> Excuse me. I did my eye appoint exam already, and I asked them for a copy of the prescription. So even though I got glasses from them, I did, I, you know, um, but I need to, I guess I, I needed a different type as well. I, so I needed more than what I got from them. So if somebody put that here, I will be able to <coughs> screenshot that and definitely go there and not go there, but go online is what I meant and get the online glasses at a cheaper rate. So Mildred said I had to go out and come back in Sweet Peach to click to click the live and share. Thank you, darling, for doing that. I don't know what's going on. Like I told you guys, this <laughs> and this page has some. Mm, yeah, don't let me talk about that right now. But you know, we still have another <clears throat> some more time. But let me just leave that alone for right now. But thank you for doing that. And thank you for sharing as well, Mildred. At least that worked for Mildred. She had to go back out and come back in to be able to click on the like and also share. So that's what I'm saying, guys. That's why I tell you like, love, sharing is scaring. is very important as well because, you know, when you have having many different... <clears throat> Selma, it wasn't you. Okay. All right. Whoever it was, I'm sure that they'll come along and... um and drop that eventually. Share, Caribbean Women in Life and Kitchen say yes. This is how I got my glasses. Two from online. But my friend daughter did it for me. Okay. I'm sure if I probably put in something. You know. A search. It would probably give me options of different places that does that. Or that you can get it from online. At a cheaper rate. My oldest son. He did it. Oh my god. But that was a long time ago. I don't even think that he ever kept the name of that place. He did that maybe back in 2020, maybe 2020, when he was still living with me. So I remember he got some online, but thank you. I'll put it in and I'm sure it's going to give me something. One moment. It's going to give me some options, but thank you. Thank you. So that way I can get, because based on what they told me I needed for reading and also for distance. So, you know, now when they start getting all these technicalities going and all this kind of different things, then their prices start going up and up and up because now you got to pay for frames and then you got to pay for the prescription in the glasses and then, and then they start them with prices. You know what? Just give me for reading right now. Right now, I'm not driving. So, give me reading right now and give me a copy of the prescription so that I can get what I really needed, you know? Um... So Sharon is also saying, let me send you a link where you can look for your glasses and look for the medium large. And then you have to put in this uh, petition. Okay, let me send you. Okay, okay, you can send it, darling. Don't send it on the, well, don't send it on the video, though. Send it to my inbox, the page inbox. Uh, have you got the WhatsApp number? 407-569-8850. You can send it there as well. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you all. And welcome to this live, guys. Again, today is election day. You know what I mean? There's, we don't know what to expect, but definitely get out and vote if you haven't already done so. So now I'm going to say good morning. I share 10 times, LOL. Thank you so much for sharing 10 times, Norma. And thank you for everyone that shares the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, let me tell you something here. Mm. I do not know. And welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining in. If you have not liked the video yet, please do so. And thank you, thank you. Guys, I do not know what to say anymore about this place, these people. I don't even think it's the place itself. Let me say about these people. Because it's more about the people at this moment, to be honest. Because the people is who... The people are the ones that brought toxicity, brought drama bought all kind of nonsense to the actual app, right? So I can't say the place itself is more of the people. And that's why sometimes you got to just ignore nonsense, to be honest, because 
If you don't, then you will be caught up in a whole bunch of nonsense. There are people that don't make sense and you're wondering where is they thinking and, and are they even thinking and are they that desperate? Are they that hungry to make a dollar? You know what I mean? Are they that hungry to make a dollar? If you're that hungry to make a dollar, maybe you should go back on the street corners where you were before and do it there. Um, amen, Selma. I'm agreeing to that as well. Amen and amen, right? Absolutely. But with that, you know, we have to also look out, darling. We don't know what's going to happen next after that. That's what I'm saying. Just be on the... Mm, just be on the alert. That's all I'm going to tell you. And be very careful and be very safe out there because we don't know what's going to happen next when it goes that way. Let's say that. Okay, something's going on with the comments there already. Sophia Millen Carter said, Good morning, Simply Sweet Peach and Peaches. My big day is here. 60 not out. Thank God for letting me see this day. Yay! Happy birthday. Guys, put some birthday love, birthday wishes in there for Sophia Millington Carter all the way in Canada. Happy birthday, darling. Enjoy your special day. And we are wishing you many, many more birthdays to celebrate in Jesus' mighty name, darling. Enjoy, enjoy. Thanks for sharing. I know you did say that, right? And I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, so my head is not all there. So forgive me, darling. But enjoy, enjoy to the fullest every moment <clears throat> so guys while you put the happy birthday wishes in there i just want to get this screenshot that someone sent me and when i saw the screenshot i i just i shake my head obviously because i the first thing i always do when i see nonsense sometimes i breathe and i do a lot of different things right but this one was just like out there but let me go, let you guys put the happy birthday wishes and then my guys light up this video we got 157 58 people on here not even 120 likes that's not good we need at least about 35 more people to like the video tessia thank you so much tessia yes thank you so much for sharing this video birthday love birthday wishes in there for our beautiful sophia millington carter Thank you all. Let me get this screenshot, guys. Lord have mercy. Sometimes I wish I don't even see these kind of nonsense, but I appreciated the person that sent it. But when I say, <laughs> I know that we got to see it because we on the space here amongst others. And if we're here, we're going to see it on a friend's page or somebody else's space or something. But I just say to myself, these people, mm, 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 mm. you can't be that desperate for a dollar. You cannot be that desperate for a dollar. You know how many people out there live their life sometimes every day and they ain't working or they out to work and they ain't qualified for unemployment and some of them Sundays ain't even got a dollar and they still don't go to these desperate measures. They do not go to these desperate measures just to get a dollar. They don't. So the fact that these people are going so far, it makes me wonder what kind of life they really live that they will go to these lengths. So, someone sent me a screenshot yesterday, my people. And thank you again for the person that sent this. Thank you for keeping me in the loop. This person, which is the, um, the biggest lizard in town, right? The biggest lizard in town, the dried up lizard that just need to go somewhere and take care of themselves, take care of their health get some vitamins instead of looking so malnourished. I mean, should I go on and go on and go on? <laughs> I shouldn't, right? Because that's what I'm saying. So I don't want to talk about ignorant people like this, seriously. But anyhow, this one wrote, Hora wants to turn her daughters into small, small shadows. I said what I said. So that tells us then that if you were one, what are you going to turn your kids into? What are you going to be turning your kids into? Small, small bullies? Or small, small... Um, what, is it, what is the word that people use for... Well, don't let me go in that direction. But I was like, is, it, is this person okay? This person not okay, right? This person is really mentally ill. I'm believing now that everybody that's associated with that person, something wrong with them. Something wrong with all of them. Oh, Karen Willis said, good morning, sweet peach. Today is my son's birthday. Happy birthday to your son, um, Karen Willis. 
Wishing him many more birthdays to celebrate. More birthday love, my people. More birthday wishes. More birthday loves. Yes, guys. I know, right? Then the person wrote, you see how I, you see how much it takes out of me just to read this nonsense, right? Because right now these people are just nonsense people. They are just, it's so ignorant. Join me live tonight for the evidence. Evidence. Small, small shadows. I said what I said. When did you tell people about your days of being one? Are you serious? Are you really serious? Y'all people does not, you do not understand. You don't get the concept. I don't know what evidence she was talking about. And if she's basing things on her children dancing, then I mean that you're really ignorant. Like I said, I don't know what evidence the people are talking about. Um, what evidence this one is talking about, I'm sorry. Because there's no evidence out there that could prove or for you to sit or for you to even type and write that somebody wants to turn their daughters into small, small shadows. Because you ain't got no sense. Because truly, if you go and classify Beyonce that got two daughters, right, and a son, but you go and classify Beyonce that got two daughters, and Beyonce learning her kids how to dance, maybe taking them to ballet to learn how to do all these things, and they're wearing those later things and body suits and those things that they wear. Are those people also turning their children into smaller shells? Y'all people just need to stop. You need to stop. Because what you're doing now, it's just ignorance. You cannot be this desperate. You cannot be this hungry. Well, maybe you are hungry because only a person that is hungry will go to that lens to start imposing these kind of things on people, children, people, children, forget about, about the children. You already talking smack about the mother. Now you're imposing all this here on the mother. I mean, on the children. Like what did the children do you? That's why see, these people do not care nothing at all about this man they don't care about the man they don't even care about his children because they're still going on and on and on and on they're like energizer bunnies at this moment but that one day so dina energizer bunny that's another cheap virgin because she can break very easily okay but caribbean women life and children say wow that's crazy how can a grown person can say that about two babies and you kidding are you kidding me this social media is getting bad to us they need to stop and all of this i am telling you that's why i said so maybe you just gotta take a mental breathe in and breathe out that's why some things i see some things i hear and i don't even talk about it because it's almost like if you continue to to grasp and to listen and to watch what they're posting all this nonsense it's almost like your brain becomes infiltrated with their crap who wants to live like that these are desperate people because nobody in their right mind no human no grown adult will go this far is to start going off to children and talking about children and writing posts like that it's not even to say okay she said it on a video and even if she said it on the video it still won't be right it will still be bad but to go actually write it and write it for other people to see are you serious but we know that that one ain't got no kind of shame. She ain't got no kind of pride. She ain't got no kind of common sense either. These are people that you call um, <clears throat> educated fools is basically what she is. Because for you to go that far. But we saw how far she went when she talked about that situation with my ex, right? You saw how far she went with that. But her own children is the one that going to pay for her mess and her nonsense. So she raised in a bunch of... I'm going to say bullies that eventually will bully children at school or may even go worse and do worse things. And her own face is going to be shame. One day it's going to come. Gloria Jones said that dried up lizard is not relevant. That Horace brand looking for women with sexy boots. <laughs> I'm telling you right. But when she start talking nonsense about kids, it's like on a whole nother level. She is just desperate. That girl is hungry for money. Only God knows what her situation is at the moment. But you can't be this desperate. I mean, hello. Go and put on your clothes and go out the corner. Go out at night and do what you got to do if you're that desperate. You should not go after kids or talk nasty or even write nasty stuff about people's children. You shouldn't do that. Mildred said, 
that person, every negative word speaks against Cora and her daughters back to sender. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Back to sender indeed. Your day will come and you will feed a wrath. You will feed a wrath. And then you will you will realize all the things that you have done, all the things that you have said. For what? For what is the question? For what reason? And what are you gaining out of it? A few dollars, five, ten dollars here and there for a video? Make it make sense, right? Because it doesn't at this moment. It really doesn't. But Norma F said that shows how much. Uh, no. That shows how much they care about the good father because those kids are his own. They don't even care about him. That's my whole point. They don't care about him. And like we said before, he doesn't even care about his own children because I'm sure that he probably saw that post or would have seen it and he ain't going to say nothing about it because what they wrote is okay. It is fine. Look at what the nanny said that he said in front of the child, right? When the child was dancing. Stop dancing like that. That's the reason I divorced your mom because she used to be shaking her niash for men. Like who says that in front of a child or even to a child? So he would not say anything at all about anything like this. Anybody that is on his side supporting, he has nothing to tell them. They can do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want about his ex and his children. He doesn't care. And we already knew that from 2022 when people were under his own video typing nonsense about his children and he did nothing. He said nothing. But if they type crap about him, he go out and he delete it. It deleted if it's about him. When it was about his children, he didn't care. It took him months and months and months of people here on the blue app talking about it and saying things for him to start saying, oh, my children are off limit. Don't say nothing about my children. But still yet, his focus was blocking them when they talk about him, not his children. And that's my whole thing. It's so sad and these people are sick. Something is wrong with them seriously around with them because nobody don't go and just write crap and talking about you got proof are you for real you got proof somebody needs to drag her dried up yash somewhere about to a court or somewhere because she think that because she's way 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 over yonder that she's untouchable that's what she think but the right person is going to the right person is going to get you. Don't worry. The right person is going to bring you down. Whether they bring you down in court or whether God himself bring you to a place where you got to sit your dried up butt down. Just a matter of time. But Brenda Orr said, well, the father does be selling pictures and videos. Maybe that's what she's talking about. But all of this is sick. Hmm. But what, even if he's doing that, right, or allegedly based on what he nanny said about him selling photos, now he want to project, he always want to project everything on KO, right? So, uh, I don't even know anymore about these people here. And these people are just exhausted when you even think about them. But here's what Brooke said, these innocent children are off limits. She is very hateful. It's all about the money. That's all it's all about, to be very honest. And it's really, really sad that you would let money make you be such a fool and be so evil and wicked. And those people that were there cheering you on, they're just in the same category as you. Good morning, Sharon. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Um, the person was saying that uh -huh. they are so sick, like, you have kids. What goes around comes around when you when you're thinking about saying some nasty thing. I mean, what could come in at somebody had to say something about two little kids like that? Mm. What what demon possessed is that? And mm. second of all, the father wouldn't care less either because why? You remember when he came out and said how June was that he was I'm talking? Talking? Uh, when he came out and said, right. But who look at the nanny was doing that? So it's probably the nanny was in the house doing all this dance, like she was the way sure. was, like she was teaching the oh, kids. Yes, to dance. yes, yes, you're right. When he was making it, like it yeah. was the mother that he lived so, But the way the nanny doing it is like she teaching them, she was babysitting, she teaching them to dance, she teaching them to, sure. you know. So everything they want to turn on KO mm -hmm. for everybody, so even if it's right in their face, the they're still turning around. Sure. And say something. So can you really hate somebody like that to even 
projecting those things on their kids. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, they are innocent and God is going to always bless okay. them. But when their children come out to be whatever they have to be, don't blame nobody. Don't say people do witchcraft. True. Nothing because some people just put witchcraft on their own self. Exactly. Because that is really witchcraft. Like, mm -hmm. how would you say something like that? That is really crazy. I couldn't have believed my eyes when I heard that yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's right. like, it's like from money, the love for money is the root of all mm -hmm. evil. Just because mm -hmm. of money, you ever go so low. Right? For what? Oh, Six dollars. Five dollars. And then mm -hmm. they, they, they keep getting bitter, 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 bitter. Mm -hmm. And she always keep moving up and she face keeps glowing and shining and whatever. <laughs> Why they don't take the example of what she doing and become somebody? Because look by look, you could watch something she doing and you could do your own thing and so on. But mm -hmm. then, if a lot of them, as much as they hate her, if they don't call her name, then she naming them out. They can't do nothing. True. That's really, really. That's really, really sad. Mm -hmm. And for and for the father, he cannot say nothing because if he doing it for himself, when they do things like that, he can't say mind. nothing. True. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is what I wanted to say. That is really crazy. And I was telling you, um, remember before I could have sent messages to you and so on, and then I changed my um my phone, and when they back up the thing, they didn't back up a lot of stuff, so I lost okay. it. So, so I just sent my message. So I gonna know you, and send mm -hmm. a WhatsApp number oh. for me. Okay. So I yeah. send, and I will send you two of the thing that we had us get the glasses. Okay, that was right, no bye bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Someone just said, um, who was it? Let me see. Uh, Lynn. Lynn Rose Garcia said her scrub husband doesn't work, so she needs to work over time. Really? Wow, wow, wow. Really? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, so sad, I tell you. So she. She breathing and living, making money for the family of, of course, family of the obedies, I should say. Cause one minute she on Cora, one minute she on Nancy, one minute she's all over the place. And a lot of the stuff that she bringing out is just old news, just old stuff from way back. You know what I mean? My God. Michelle said, Michelle S says she needs to take them to court. Yeah, it's easier said than done, darling. But I'm sure that at some point something will happen. Because I know that there's something that can be filed. Oh, Lord. I was trying to remember the name last night. Somebody messaged me on WhatsApp. All right, don't me call the name because you're not supposed to let everybody know everything, right? Because that's all the pick information when you mention it online. So I'm not going to say nothing about that. But Sophia Manson Carter says, should never talk about children in that way. Sick people. Exactly. And we know already that she is sick, very sick. Because the fact that you can go and just publicly say things about somebody's child like that, posting stuff, and they're talking about you got evidence. That part that I said to myself, what an idiot. What an idiot. I don't care what evidence you think you got. Because even if she's referring to Cora and the children in the, in the street there by her, wherever they were dancing, nothing is even wrong with that. As a matter of fact, I was just happy to see that Baby J is even trying to do a little dancing. You know how many children started out like that as child actors and, and, and they started doing dancing and singing and stuff. Even if they started in the quiet church and then they branch out and did their own other things like Beyonce. That's how people start out. How do you think that they just grew up, went to college and they say, you know what, let me start singing. Let me start dancing. Let me start now and get 19. No, they don't do it like that. They start from very, very little when their parents saw some talent in them and stuff and helped them to get to the next level, whether they had to send them for training or whatever. But y'all won't understand the meaning to that because y'all children, you didn't do nothing like that for your kids. So you won't understand the concept or how it works. Yeah, she is very evil, very, very, very. She herself looked like a damn witch, truly. When I look at her, she looked like a witch. So any person like that, when should we expect that anything anything different from them, right? Her face alone look like a witch. Her body alone look like she's barely walking around like somebody just put in there a dry queen. She looked like a walking dead. I'm going to tell you that right now. Good morning, JJ. How are you, darling? 
Hello, Pippi. Hi, darling. How are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. Good, good, good. You still um, it's delaying, Pippi. Maybe I have to have a phone call back. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because on our end, it's saying joining. That's all it's saying on my end. So it doesn't look like I have you 100% connected, but we can still hear you. And we have to teach. Oh, okay. Not... okay. Okay. All right, all right. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know. Yesterday, it was doing like that for a little bit, too, until it came to its senses. Welcome, everyone that's joining in. Uh, Mm -hmm. Exactly, Hazel, but still you ain't doing nothing for her. You would think that somebody like that, right? An educated person, uh, a person that be tending or uh, acting like they're so educated and they are an engineer. Why isn't it working out for you? Why isn't that working out for you? You should already got it like that. You should already be rich. Let me let me read this, Sean. Shauna Brown, let me read your comment because it looked like you want to be funny and I like to answer people like you. She said, why haven't, why haven't, aren't, uh, you, you see, you're never, you're never smart to begin with. Why haven't, aren't you, go and learn to write English or read properly. Why haven't, aren't you talking about how you allow your husband to have SES with your daughter? You got proof to that? You got proof to that? Show me the proof then. You're a jack. Mm. You think that if that had already happened, that my children would allow to be with me? That's what I'm trying to say. You are ignorant, just like her, and you're a jack a double s. Yes, I said it. I don't know which island you're from, or uh, maybe you weren't even from the island. Maybe you're from a different planet, but you're a jack a double s. Cause the last time I check in America, if I had allowed that, my a double s would have been in jail as well or my children would have been in foster care. So, uh, eh, 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 come again? You need me to tell you more? You need me to tell you more? I've already said what I said about that. Unlike you, who, who allow yours to do vagadoo, <laughs> like I want to say, smash yours and you'll call the cops. I did, okay? So I don't need to come and talk and tell you nothing. Who was just requesting requests again? I don't need to come and tell you nothing, okay? So take your nonsense a somewhere else, okay? I just want to tell you that before I block you. Let me ask that who need, who wants to come first, okay? Let me get rid of you, cause you don't got no sense. It's people like you that are uneducated. Go and learn to read. Go back to school. Don't get me started this morning, okay? Don't put me up my way this morning, cause I will cuss you. Lord, forgive me. It's election day, my people. Don't forget to vote, 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 and don't vote for the person that will be cussing the people, okay? Don't vote for the one that cussing the people. So let me leave that cuss word out the way of this. So give her the burden word, sweet peach. If I do that, they will shut down the platform or they will shut down the platform. <laughs> but I wanted to answer the person before I block them. Before you write nonsense, go and educate yourself. Go back to school. Maybe you started at 19 as well. So I don't know what's happening, JJ. It so said that you're declining. Maybe it's taking to another page. Maybe you started school at 19 as well, because last time I checked, y'all ain't know nothing but American laws when it comes to children. Y'all need to go and read up before y'all listen to ignorant snake goats, wicked witches. Go on, go and read the laws in America, okay? No person out there that allow no woman or man to do that to their children, you will never be able to see your children again. You think that it will still allow you to keep your children? <laughs> make it make sense. Y'all are ignorant. Anywho, that's the epic connects you. Oh, Lord. Lord, Father, give me strength this morning here. JJ? JJ? Um, morning. Good morning, darling. Ah. Uh, What's happening? Is it like taking you to another page? Yes. Uh, yes. I don't know why it's doing that. They're just manipulating I, things. Me up here yeah. Teach that. It's, Try it's again. Confusing. Yeah, a lot of people are experiencing that. I don't know what it's all about, darling. But keep the love and light going, my people, because they've been trying real hard. But let's move on. I know why the hell I will come and answer some scapegoat like you 
without, hello, you pay me? If you want to hear my story, tell me how much you're dropping. Drop enough that I can give my story and enough, okay? Uh, Priscilla Gardner is asking, where are the stars this morning? Eh, Priscilla, mm, maybe they're still in the sky, right, Priscilla? <laughs> Priscilla wants to know we have the stars this morning. Ain't no stars coming. What's going on? Priscilla's concerned. Priscilla is the only person that's saying 300 stars. Nobody else has said no stars, Priscilla. Maybe we need to start over the live video. And maybe the stars would appear, right? But let's see if it connects JJ. Okay, JJ. I guess it's having the same hiccup. JJ, this is what you can do. Try this. Exit out the video and come back in again. Exit and come back in again and see if that works exit and come back darling um <laughs> Kareem, women like the kitchen said don't even give them attention sweetie let it let it go worry about what's going on in their house i'm telling you half of them these things happened to them when they were younger i can come out here and i can talk about a topic like that because i can tell you that a lot of y'all experience that your younger age and nobody in there for when I, when I live with it, when I slept with it, when I went through it for years and years and years. Did my child do that? No. Uh, Cynthia Shields, thank you so much for 200 stars, darling. Appreciate you. Did my child do that? No. My child didn't even did that, not even for three months, not even for two months. So that's what I'm saying. That Do I need to come and tell y'all anything about my business? No, I don't. I really don't. Why not me, y'all, that are real lovers and supporters? I'm talking about the nonsense, ignorant people that started school at 19, the ones that was out on the street selling. <clears throat> hey, I'm moving on, my people. Here's a said. Here's a brother says she can't construct a simple sentence. That's why they block right away, because I was like trying to explain to you you never got things. You like you never went to school till you was nineteen, but you're trying to type something on somebody's uh, live video. Make it make sense. Go back to school first, and then come back, and then go to college as well, and see if that can help you out. Nonsense and ingredients. You probably was the one. You see the ones that spent twenty eight years of your life on somebody's street corner in the back seat of man car on the hood on top the roof of the car doing mm, on. Mm. They probably even put you on the tires of the car, on the steering wheel, on the dance gun, headrest, <laughs> on the dance gun, dashboard. They probably had you all over that car for 25 bucks. <laughs> JJ, try again. Oh my God. Make it make sense, right? Let me try, darling. Make it make sense. <laughs> I just got like, these people here. At least that was not my life. <laughs> It's okay, JJ. Um, Morning, sweet hi. peach. Hi, darling. Morning, family. Sweet peach, yeah. I've been um, I've been lacking. Mm -hmm. Some Lack. days I just jump on just to say good morning and listen. Oh, I've been okay. so busy doing all mm -hmm. the different kind of stuff. Wow. So I I've not been catching up, but Sometimes when you start talking, I can't know who you're talking about mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm one of the originals. Yeah. So. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the stars. Uh, June Daniels, appreciate you, darling. Appreciate you all. Go ahead, JJ. Sorry. Yes, Pippi. So you have some people, you have some mothers, right, mm -hmm. that um, they don't like their life. They don't like their kids. Mm -hmm. Don't like their relationship <laughs> so when they look and see other people's relationship and mm. other people being happy yeah they will say the worst right True. about that person because their life is so unhappy exactly they don't really like their own kids so they throw things out there on other people Mm -hmm. because if I love my child or children I would love anybody children That's... no matter if I don't like the parent yeah. I would love the children because we don't know what the future hold for us right that's true and we don't know what tomorrow gonna bring 
-hmm. for even our kid. So we talk good about other people's kids. I'm talking about the people now who love pe people and love their kids. True. I would never talk ill of somebody's kid. Exactly. You understand? Because mm -hmm. I love my child, our children. And I would like to see my child or children come out to be the best. Facts. But some people don't know that when you talk about other people's kids, your child or children will come out to be the worst. Mm -hmm. So you, you try to uplift other people's kids. Now, this situation is not supposed to be about kill kids. True. But because of the treatments mm. that they are getting, getting mm -hmm. and we see it with our own eyes but because they like this person so much they can't give him wrong I know you think they like and him. because they haven't stand on their ground from the mm -hmm. first part from the beginning and tell this person that what you did was wrong right what you're doing is wrong what you're about to do is wrong. Mm -hmm. That's why mm -hmm. this person gets himself in so much problem. True. We know from the start or oh, everything started out. Some people know, some people join in, some people just hear from a person. Because mm -hmm. sometimes communication don't go right, sweet peach. True. You tell you something, you tell it somebody else in a different way. So till when it reached the other person, it's a total different thing, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. But if for we who are here from the beginning, we know that this person was wrong mm -hmm. from this start. Yep. All right. You're wrong. We talk to you about it. You, you, you want to prove your point so bad that you're a good person. Okay, you can be a good person, but you weren't a good father, meaning you know from the job that you couldn't, you're not capable of looking after two babies. Exactly. But you did it because of social media. True. That's the only reason you do it, because of social media. And you think that if mm -hmm. you get the kids and put them in front of the camera, you will make a bunch of money. Mm hmm it didn't work out for you and the pressure start reaching you. Yep. When the pressure start reaching you, instead of you being a man and not a boy and said, I'm going to put my egos aside and, and give the mother of the child mm -hmm. um, full custody. Mm -hmm. Not even full custody. Make yeah. her take care of the kids and hi um visit them on the weekends because nothing is wrong with exactly. that nothing is wrong with that no. if you are man enough to stand on that ground and say listen this is what i'm gonna do because i'm not standing on my two foot right mm -hmm. now this is what i'm gonna do but no you make a bunch of idiots come yep. into your head come into your space and fool your head because you're not a leader. Mm -hmm. You make them come into your head in your space mm -hmm. and, and tell you all manner of things because they ate the kale. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. And you think, okay, if these persons are black and these persons come from her side of the wood, I'm going to listen to what they said. Right. Now, I'm not sure yet, Beverly. Years after, mm -hmm. two years after, two and a half, going into three, yeah. you're still standing without nothing. Nothing. Because you have nothing. Exactly. You have nothing. Mm -hmm. More than disgrace. Hmm. That's all you have. Depression. A bunch of disgrace, depression, sickness, mm -hmm. everything, yeah, because exactly. you are not a leader. As a man, you're supposed to be a leader. You get up every morning, you get up every day, you try to hmm. disgrace mm -hmm. your ex, the person who, who didn't do you anything, yes. more than tell you, listen, I'm tired of the abuse, and you need to stop. You need to stop. 
-hmm. And she told you that in secret. Mm -hmm. You were financially abusing her. Exactly. And she said, you need to stop. But because you are a fool, you come out on, on platforms and you said what you said. You did what you did. And now mm -hmm. you are living in depression. You are sick because all these women get into your head. Mm -hmm. You understand? You exactly. try to prove a point to say, oh, I can get any woman I want. I can get any be woman I want. And look what happened. They come. Does everybody have an agenda? Yeah. You understand? Everybody wants to be um on top. And they 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 maliciously videotape your, your house and mm -hmm. store it in their phone that one day when things get sour, I'm gonna disgrace you. Exactly. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now you are home, can't people work? Yeah. And you, you you lose trust now because everybody you put in your circle, they weren't, weren't their loyal. They, they didn't give you their loyalty. True. Because everybody um come out on you, every single one of them, and there are more. If you don't stop it, they're gonna come out and talk mm -hmm. same way. Because you plot evil against somebody who did nothing to you. Exactly. And the kids, the kids are innocent. Mm -hmm. The kids are innocent, True. but you are the cause of everything that is happening to the kids. Yeah. It's not KO. Exactly. It's not KO. KO don't do anything because when they were running up and down, sweet peach, you remember before she moved? Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, she gave the kids this to heat. Oh, she, at least they were eating. At least. Least they were eating, and nobody can say her place was was messy. None of them, exactly. because she is very transparent. And you see, when you are tra transparent, you can talk, but listen. At least you are seeing what is going on. Mm -hmm. Nobody can see what was going on in this man's house. Nobody, all of his people, nobody could say, "Oh, is this with the kids? Is that with the kids?" No, just for a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. But look what come out now the, the kids are living in filth exactly. and none of you guys if you are willing to speak the truth would never separate from a man and and know that your kids are living in this filth yeah. and it is okay mm -mm. Unless then because, yes because remember when we used to see ko when she, before she moved and they used to criticize oh the kids are eating this Oh, the kids are doing that. Put on mm -hmm. shoes on the kids. Put on this on the kids. Mm -hmm. And you you guys see picture with the babies sitting, eating without clothes on. Mm -hmm. But it is okay. Right. Yeah, it is okay. Mm -hmm. Remember now, these kids are growing. Mm -hmm. You have other people coming in that house, mm -hmm. in and out, in and out. Exactly. Who to tell what these kids are, are facing? I'm telling you. Nobody knows if people touching them women touch kids true it's not just men yeah. right. but no it is okay because mm. he's a good father mm -hmm. you see how you people think you see how you people think we have never seen one morning or any evening mm. or any night mm. care open our, our, our phone and show us a boy or a man sleeping in her house. No. True. We have never seen it. Mm -mm. But when this man do it, because you have some little foolish woman believe that a woman can, can do certain things, but a man can always do certain things. Mm -hmm. No. Exactly. No. That's no. They think. You, you want to tell me that this man can get away with all this evidence that is showing out. But if K.O. have a friend over, you guys ready to crucify her mm. as an adult? Mm. As an adult who is very independent, not depending on nobody for anything. Right. Apart from her, her platform. But no, the hypocrisy of you woman on the other mm. side who want to be like K.O. And exactly. you can tell 
me that you don't want to be like her. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't want to be like her, you would leave her alone by this. True. True. Because she's doing nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. She's not doing anything wrong. Exactly. But this person who is doing wrong, you cannot flip the script and say, you know, all this time I'm talking about kill while this man is the problem. Mm -hmm. This man is the problem. Mm -hmm. Everything that he point on KO, mental health, the RUG problem, mm -hmm. depression, yeah. everything. Yep. He's the one who is in exactly. it. He's the one who is doing all of this. But mm -hmm. in the first, when they say she have um, mental health problem, everybody run with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Exactly. When she come out and she shout on our platform, yes, she's D-R-U-G. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's taking whatever. You know how much time I see people on our platform telling her that she she's under the influence. Mm -hmm. Many. Go you know ahead. how much time? Mm -hmm. And they run with it on their platforms. True. And you people see the evidence. And, and, and nobody screaming out. Everybody hush hush because what? Yeah, they push out. Those oh, no. type of person, those type of person mm -hmm. are supposed to be doing that. Oh, it's nothing because he's W. Oh, it's <laughs> nothing because he's W. Yeah. Hmm. But Ko is doing the right thing. Even though for me, sweet peach, I think Ko should do more. When I say I do more mm. to protect those, those girls right now because so much th things are going out going around you know and mm -hmm. the kids are the future sweet peach and sometimes you'll be surprised to know that a five-year-old or even a four-year-old will know what is going on and when they are about 15 16 they call you one side and say this was happening to me and nobody says anything or i told you and you did nothing right yes. mm -hmm. So, I would protect my child. I would take them. I would take them. Being as always, well, shout out that like, I would give them to her, whatever. Yeah. I would take them for, for even the next four years. It's nothing if you visit to visit them. Mm hmm. True. You understand? Mm -hmm. Visit them because he's still a part of their life. Because what he's doing with them, more than play with them. That's all he do. Mm -hmm. That's all he do, play with them. Yeah. You don't even know how much he's doing with all these riffraff in his house. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I would never like to know that this thing come out on the internet, sweet peach, where my kids are living in that situation. Right. And, you know, for me, I think... I think K.O. knows what this person is capable of. I know that she knows that he's a nasty person. Mm -hmm. You know, she knows that he's nasty. Hmm. Because when you live with somebody, Sweet Peach, you yeah. know certain things, how they move, you know. Uh, you can't get up to there, you know, beard. Mm -hmm. You, you can't get up two days now, you know, hold a shower, True. you know? You're right. Why? And, and you don't smell yourself? You can't tell me you don't smell that, you know? And those kind of people... They will know, you know, you don't brush your teeth, you get up, you don't brush your teeth. Two days now, you don't brush your teeth, why? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. You don't change your clothes. So she knows certain things. She mm -hmm. knows certain things, but... Is not everybody going to come up front and try to tell everybody what is going on? He would do it to her, but she's not that type of person. Yeah. But for me, I would take my kids. I have the resources because when she's going out, if she wants, she could say, okay, I'm not going to be in town this month or this week. You could have them. You understand? Yeah. Nothing is wrong with that. Because if you can't take care of them, right. nothing is wrong if you give the parent mm -hmm. the one who is capable of taking care of them. But because of selfishness and jealousy, he's not going to do it. True. Because exactly. he want to 
he want to tell his people that, oh, I have this covered. You don't have nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The kids are living in filth. Mm -hmm. The kids are, the house is very, and I don't know how um, CPS go to that house and pass those kids same way. Because maybe when the CPS come in, they probably go alert you that they come in for a visit. So he will get the place spread. You know he's probably doing that. Sweet yeah. peach, not even that alone. Well, I'm mean, gonna know what for says sweet peach, but for me, I would take my kids. I would take those girls and said, listen, behind we now have to go in front of the judge for do this. But what I'm seeing on the internet, I don't think this thing is healthy for not even baby A. Yeah. You understand? Because she's she's always sniffing and she's always coughing and she always have a cold. Mm. You don't mm. know what can and affect her later on from now. Yeah. You understand? Exactly. Walking so, around, she can get yeah. through at a later time in her life. I love Keo very much, but for that, Keo is lacking. She's lacking, and I'm not gonna say, "Oh, she do her best." No, she's lacking that part because everything is on the internet. I'm mean, gonna take my kids and say, "Listen, mm -hmm. this is what's going on." Because I'm gonna sit and talk to Eva, baby Jay. I said, baby Jay, listen, you're going to see your daddy on the weekends and you're going to stay at mommy. We're going to make sure you go to school, yeah. you, you know, everything. But she's lacking there and it's not, it, it, she's a public figure and we are, we have our own opinions. Of course. And any good parent, whether you're young, just a try coming up, we are going to take, um, we're going to control everything when it comes on to our kids. And she ha have the resources. Take your kids and tell the boy, say, listen, mm -hmm. until you mm -hmm. can get yourself good help, good yeah. help, and a stable job, I'm going to take these girls. Yeah. And nobody going to say, oh. not just telling him that. She would have to go through the law, the courts for that. She can't just tell him that because you know he's crazy already. He wanna who the hell you think you are? Yeah. Listen, I have evidence because everything is on the, the, the on social media. Mm -hmm. Met the court come for me, sweet peach. May I take my kids them? And then we go in a court, and then when we go in a court, me show them say, listen, this is how my kids are living. And every time I pick up my kids, they are sick. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. I would start to do from even now sweet peach every time i take them up me care then got a doctor if you have evidence of them sick you understand yeah we can't wait for and say all right we're gonna pray everything they say we're gonna pray if you not do nothing god now help you you understand yeah. you're gonna wait till one day you come the kids have one disease one, one something where they can't get better you spend more time in the hospital now with them more than anything else because what happened to when these kids are hungry and this man falls asleep? You don't know what they will pick up, put in their mouth. Yeah, you don't know right. what kind of old food out of the fridge they take and eat. Because this man seemed to be dropping asleep every now and then for hours. Mm. Who look after the kids when they drop asleep for hours? Right. But you know, Better she to be had to go to court for that, meaning all them concerns that she has. Yes, she can bring them concerns to she lawyer. But if she just rightfully take them children like that, you know, the cops come Sweet. in, the it her. It's different. Even the video, yeah. even the video that he do and said, I'll give her the kids. May I have that past standby? Mm -hmm. You understand, Sweet yeah. Peach? All right. So for me, I'm not saying she's supposed to do it. For me, Sweet Peach, I would rather to get my kids mm -hmm. more than for in and out of hospital with them. Because you have some disease and some virus sweet peach, they cannot get better. These are babies. And if mm -hmm. you have my kids in a filth like that, who to tell mm -hmm. if when Athena was a small as baby, if she not eat back her feces? Mm -hmm. Because him fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Who to tell? Yeah. Because this man fall asleep like, because him, him get high, in drop asleep whenever the kids wake up mm -hmm. crying for hungry, he's not gonna hear them mm -hmm. because he's deep in sleep. They're hungry, 
They take up anything and put into their mouth. Listen, the judge would have to come for me himself. Can I take them and run? I mean, I run go far either. I'm gonna stay right there with them and have my evidence for sure. Say, so listen, this is the field that my kids are in. And until I get a court date, then we will talk about it. But this is not right. If you love your kids, well, me never say love in a sweet peach because some people say love and I don't know what that mean. I don't know what that means when they say, oh, I love this person and I love my kids. I love can't love my kids and see those things on the internet and still send them over there, sweet peach. Unless me I go tell him, say, listen, what me do me come come clean up the house to make sure say me put them in a good condition. Hmm. But because of this vex thing. Not called darling, unfortunately. We can only give our opinion reaction, but at the end of the day, to me, the court will have to make this easy. I mean, like I said, you can bring concerns to your lawyer, you know, if you got a lawyer, but you can't go and take matters into your own hand. That might be bad for you. And this but country. Life. Sweet peach, this country, you're putting a lawyer hands on Judge Han, and it takes a long sweet peach, and then matters you the worst come. Hurts for you. You might not even see each other again when you want to try to take matters into your own. Why, well, sweet peach? I mean, I think, it, I mean, I think America's so bad where if you know so my kids, they might live in a field like that mm. with a junk card, with a man who who go high every every other day. Mm. I have my, my take them and I say, all right, keep the kids because they have evidence. Mm. May I carry, go to the, the, the police, sweet peach, first mm. and tell them I don't like the situation that my kids are living in. Mm. Something I have to give. Something I have to give. And if this man loves his kids the way I'm talking, but I just got back to the court and say, listen, I'm not in a good condition. I lose my job. I'm losing my health. Mm -hmm. I would rather that my kids that I love so much spend more time with their mother. Yeah. Yeah. I would go and visit them on the weekends when I'm, you know, feeling better. But a, a pure selfishness across the board, pure selfishness. And then they said, "I love, I love my daughter. I love my daughter." You're selfish. You following the crowd, the bad group. You're selfish. You know. You're you can't look after them. Look at the situation with people in your house. Imagine people in your house take picture of you in these conditions. You're nasty. You're nasty. When you come, when you're ready, you hold me your phone to make videos for your people there. You wet up your hair like your beard and wash your face. You're nasty. You're nasty. You wet up your front of your hair because when they wash their face, they tend to wet their hair. Make it look mm -hmm. like said being yeah. and cause it on in front of the, the, the camera I can just have a shower. You're nasty and look at the condition where you're living. Mm -hmm. You feed the, the kids and, 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 and food outside. You don't take it. You, we know you cannot cook. We know you cannot cook. I don't even know if the plenty nanny that you have come into your house can cook. Mm -hmm. To make a good meal for the kids. Mm -hmm. Stop being selfish. Stop being selfish and give the mother the kids and visit them on weekend. Every weekend you go, she carry them to you. Mm -hmm. Better you spend two days with them more than a week. Okay, mm -hmm. you cannot manage. But selfishness cannot hang and jealousy. But anyway, sweet peach, this situation not gonna hang. Mm -hmm. And the people them who on the other side who is tearing on care. Mm -hmm. Show us your kids, show us your house, show us the situation that you're living in. Sure. Show us your man and stop being in the dark at all about people. Mm -hmm. Get up one morning and hope on a camera and show people. Mm -hmm. Nobody in the dark can talk about nobody, sweet peach. Yeah. Nobody in the dark cannot talk about people. Nobody who have kids can't talk about other people's kids where you're not sure yours. Facts. Well, we will keep praying is all we can do on our end. Keep praying for Cora and her kids. That's all we're going to do. All right, sweet peach. Thank you, darling. Bye. Bye, Bye JJ. Bye. 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 Good morning, Edwina. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is very sad.
Yes. Let's just be honest. And now, now we have grown women going after children. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? Like this. Why do you feel the need to go after small children? They can't even. And speaking negative when you yourself have smaller children. Mm-hmm. When you yourself are are a grandmother. When you yourself are somebody's mother, mm -hmm. why do you think it is acceptable <laughs> for you, you to? The reason why they feel it's acceptable because he has given them permission to do so. <laughs> because if he did not give them that permission to open their mouth mm. would they be talking they are out of control at this moment i know the thing he got no control no 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 no, no. Like... he gave them the permission in the beginning <laughs> now he has no control mm -hmm. yep. now, yeah, now they can come out right. and say anything that they want to say mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. his kids and he cannot do anything anything mm. i bet you with um the last dollar i have in my account he is supporting that yeah i'm sure he is because you know. i bet you with my last dollar with with um the last dollar i have in my account right now mm -hmm. he is fully behind this nonsense mm -hmm. one thing you have to remember whatever you right now in the future you are going to reap everything that you sow whether good or bad mm -hmm. you are going to reap it oh yes for now like if if you are the one still going into these women's inboxes crying talking about Look at what she's doing to my daughter. It is not your daughter. It's 50-50. She has, as long as she is not putting their life at risk, True. she has the same right exactly. as, as you have. She is not going around and be telling us, ah, look at how dirty his house is. Look at how gross his boxes is. Mm -hmm. That is none of her business. Yeah. And he ain't got no talent like Cora either, so he ain't got no. Talent. So like, I find <laughs> I find it very yeah. despicable. Sweet, I tell you, he, very he's jealous when he see Key and those kids together and what they doing together and having fun and they happy. He he can't stand it. He's upset. Why? Why you know are you gonna be upset on your kids' happiness? Is it that every parent's dream for he, their kids to be happy? Because he's just that type of ignorant person. If I, my dream is for, if I cannot make my kids to be happy and and my husband can, why you know, am I going to stand in the happiness of my children? <laughs> they uh, are going to come to me happy. Mm -hmm. Is it? that the um thing that you know all um you know parents want for the kids or do you want your kids to be in be be in a perpetual misery could that make you happy if your kids are miserable maybe it would for him <laughs> what does it benefit you if your children are miserable he never had a good childhood so he don't know what it means to be happy <laughs> If you don't have a good childhood oh. and and you have children, don't you want better for them? Absolutely, heck yes. You know, God forbid, if um you were essay as a child, do mm -hmm. you want your child to basically go through that feeling? Hmm. Don't you want your kids to be like not to experience what it feels like to be essay? Hmm. Or uh, or I'm um, to go to bed hungry. That's what you know your old parents' thought is. 
Oh, no, yeah, is it just me? Or just the few people that think that way? <laughs> I don't, don't get it. I really don't get it that, you know, you're a grown people, grown women, mm -hmm. not little children, grown women in their 30s, 40s, talking bad mm -hmm. about a five-year-old and a three-year-old, calling them the all, all types of ungodly names. What is wrong with you? what is wrong with you and all the names you guys are calling this lady mm. most of you have, have done it some of you are still in it has any man ever came on this social media and said i have had juking with this lady i have juked her left right and center and, and can basically describe her private parts no, nobody has ever come on this social media any men have said that about this lady mm -hmm. it's like get a new story that is why in the year i said the last time if I if I was Cora, when I don't have my kids, I I would be giving them back to back story because this is not even good. This is not even like good in the first place. Let the lady breathe. She did not marry any one of you guys. She was not in a relationship with um, any one of you guys. She did not right. sleep with um, any one of you guys. That, that's how that particular person is acting, right? Like if, like if Kiel was, was um, together with her, like if they were together, she acting like Jebba now. <laughs> like no, it's like you, you came on this social media platform Mm -hmm. You said what you said about your ex-wife. You said you want a divorce. And she called your bluff. She gave you a divorce. No, I'm talking about the other one that's talking about kids now. That one acting like Jebba, like a person that's scorned. <laughs> like, I know. It's like the it's like it's like the whole thing it is ridiculous the whole thing right it is just so so ridiculous that you know these people don't see it these people really do not see the whole thing because at the end of the day huh i don't even think they care these people i don't think their senses are there and like they're missing some they, screws they, i as I've always said, the elevator does not go upstairs. The elevator does not travel. Sorry, I was switching to my name. You were trying to pull down. Sorry, guys. I was switching my network. Edwin, are you still there? Yeah, I am. Okay. The person that you are trying to pull down is doing be better than you. Exactly. In all aspects of life, they are doing better than you. Mm -hmm. why, yep. why don't you go and do better with yourself? Like, I don't get it. I don't see the need for me to pull down any other human being on this earth. I'm, I'm beginning to think that they don't even have no understanding. I don't I see the need. I don't I really don't see the need. Mm -hmm. I really do not see the need. I really do not see the need because at the end of the day, that um, lady is doing better than exactly. you. She is All happy. Aspects. She is not miserable. All aspects of life. She is very, 
very happy. She is glowing. Her her happiness is glowing. Look at the other one, Edwina. Not crossing you. Look at the other one that was constantly here talking about Cora. Getting every video she did, talking, analyzing it. Look at that one. Look at the look at what's going on in her life. Not that we're gonna talk about it, but my whole point is that karma is, you know, a B. Karma will come visit you. Mm -hmm. Oh, time yet. Yeah. <laughs> She's saying, at, oh, social look, media is toxic. Look at that one now. Who? It's still person? toxic people. The same one? Is it the long, long? No, darling. The one that got some eviction notice. I guess you're here about that yet. No. Who got some okay. eviction? Okay. We won't talk them about that one day. Ooh, but you know, ooh, you, know, know you know you know the one I'm talking about. Another council house one. But go ahead. Does she live in, in America or no. in or in mm -hmm. Europe? You care. Ooh, I think mm -hmm. I know. We ain't gonna talk about that one, darling. But my whole point is that that's karma is a bee. You here bashing a woman, bullying her, doing all the fame, doing all kinds of things and and you got you my bullying right somebody that is not even bullying you. Somebody that's doing better than you. Somebody paying their bills. And they're keeping somebody the that is not even mm -hmm. thinking about you. Mm -hmm. And if you meet them in public, mm -mm -mm. you you will be their biggest fan. And even Why? if you think that shows that you're even a, a bigger hater. <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. You yeah will be like, ooh, sign me your autograph. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can I can I take a picture with you? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in the beginning, you know, um, you know, Nancy warned him. Nancy told this man, those illiterates that you are using, they will be the downfall of you. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, look at him. And he's still going and going and going. And look going. at him. Look at his life. Miserable. He is not happy. No, he's not. At all not happy, no. but anyway. He will ever be. I will let somebody talk now. I have to go somewhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. True. Um, <laughs> Sabrina said, imagine paying for data to harass someone, but not paying your rent to keep a roof over your head, shaking my head. That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, <laughs> make that make sense, right? And maybe that person ain't paying for data. Because I think that uh, from the last time, I think the only people somewhere in Africa um, um, that is who would pay for data but if you somebody that in the UK or Netherlands or even in the US and you coming out here and you doing all this, like just tra trying to trash a person who ain't doing you nothing at all, who don't even know you from Adams. But meanwhile, you're doing all this every day of your life, falling asleep on a video, on videos, and you're not paying your rent or paying your bills. Like make it make sense. Maybe unless, maybe the person was promised some money Oh yes, um, maybe this. Maybe that person was promised some money. Y'all never know. Hint, hint, hint. Maybe a lot of them were promised things that never came true, that never came to pass. Even this person, even was even uh, after Cora as well. Even behind, I say behind. Even over there, uh, TikTok and all. Remember, I'm not gonna call no names, but my whole point is that we don't laugh or nothing at nobody's matter, but. That only goes to show you that karma is real. And the time that you got all these problems in your life, all these things happening, and you still out here doing that to another woman for what, crumbs, just for a little $15, $10 for people to send you. Does that even make sense? How are you gonna pay your rent with that? Make it make sense, right? You can't pay your rent with that. So all them that they got their little karma coming, some of them, you will not even know what's going on with them. You will not even know what hit them. We're going wrong. Cause they ain't gonna come and talk about it. Cause they're ashamed to talk about it. Cause they know that if they talk about it, 
other people gonna say wow there's a karma that came to catch you so some of them not gonna say nothing but maybe a lot of them he promised money and promised things that probably never came about never paid them for whatever services they did maybe allegedly that's my own theory because maybe when they try to call him phone him message him he no answer he no answer <laughs> just like jebel right jebel was there allegedly and she ain't get paid for her services either so why do you think that internet people that do dirty work will get paid mm -hmm. make it make sense but let them continue because you know what the more they're doing it doesn't matter and it's stopping Kale's progress she's still moving forward she's still living life she's still going out and buying food to feed her children she's still paying her base to keep a roof over her and her children's head so who's the smarter one right so that's what i'm saying honestly certain things i'm gonna be very honest certain things i don't even want even be bothered with sometimes because it's almost like you you hearing and you i'm not gonna say you're dealing with because we don't deal with them but these people have just become so nonsense people that ain't got no kind of common sense that you ask yourself do these people even go to school what kind of nonsense is this that they're doing or saying um Sabrina Randall said, but they were watching the same clown they were. True, you're right about that. But at the end of the day, the most important thing that I look at and that I want to focus on is that Kale is moving forward. No matter what they're doing all around the hill, around her head, behind her back, sideways, none of them things matter because who's still elevating, who's still going forward? Kale is, right? And they can say whatever they want to say about her children. Her children still doing better than them, eating better than them and their families. Because some of them people can't even buy organic food. You know how many people, they can't go to a, a market for organic item and buy nothing expensive. Because by the time they look at the price of that one item that's organic, they say, heck no, let me go and look for the other one here that costs like $5 less. Just saying. So who's living better? Who's doing better? K.O. is doing better. So all these little things that they're bringing up every day and they're still grabbing for ear is all about making a little $2. All about making a few bucks. That's all it is for them. And they're not getting rich off of it. They're not making big bucks off of it. So make it make sense at this moment. But apparently, the ones that are still doing it, the little $5, the little $7, seem to be helping them to do something. So that's why they continue and why they will probably continue. Meanwhile, a lot of people have already moved on. The one person that is behaving just like Jebba, who seemed to be scorned, who seemed to, to was in a relationship that she just so upset because this person put her out or moved or left her, is that one lizard over there so that she just hooked on Cora's court tail like a, I don't know what. It's like she ain't get the... The um oh Lord, we call the word in, in Africa now. Oh God, in Nigeria, I'm trying to remember the word. Uh, anyhow, don't let me go there on that one. So my people, honestly, I just want to ignore some of the things that they say, some of the things that they post, and just focus. Let's stream the moist video. Let's get out and vote today and continue streaming, streaming, streaming. And let's continue to watch, support and share Cora's video. And that's all we gotta keep doing. Cause if we focus on all these nonsense, these things are just flying in the air. Where is it gonna go, right? This literally that wrote that crap, where's what she said gonna go? Nowhere, nowhere. Cause they ain't gonna change nothing. And if they got a problem with Kyo, showing their kids how to dance, whether they dance in the street, whether they dance in their house, then that's their problem. Let them go and figure it out. I know that what they're doing today will benefit them later in their life. Whether it's dancing, singing, playing the piano, learning whatever course Kale is teaching them, it's going to benefit them in the long run. Meanwhile, what's going to benefit their kids? That their parent was on the internet as a bully, trolling another woman and her family for no good reason. How? What kind of kids are they growing? What kind of kids are they raising to be? If their children are hearing some of the things, or not even hearing it, later on when they start going on the internet, they might see their mommy out there or their daddy on YouTube talking smack about another person, another woman. 
you think that your children ain't gonna hear these things? They will at some point, cause you gotta keep them away from the internet for the rest of their lives. They gonna see you, and they gonna say that their mom was a bully. And when their friends or their girlfriends or boyfriends see it too, that was your mom? Exactly my point. Let me read a few more comments before I go, guys. Um, Let's see here. Hello, Shereen Brown. Welcome, welcome, everyone's joining. I see you there, Emma Carson. Welcome. I see you, Anitra. Amen to that. God is indeed good. Yes, he is. Uh, Sharon said, I guess she is jealous. She didn't get to go up to the big house as everybody else because I guess she wanted to be part of him and that way, way as well. Maybe, right? Exactly. Because apparently they, like, they got a thing for W men, uh, just the blue eyes. I don't know why, but apparently, right? But she is jealous. She's very jealous of Cora. A lot of things she doing in her life, she's doing imitating what Cora does. Is a lot of jealousy with that one day. So, but she can never be Cora because first of all, she ain't got the looks to be Cora. She ain't got the talent to be Cora. She's missing a lot of things. So she could well stop trying. Stop. Um, I see you, Deborah Nelson. I see you all. Judy, come and say good morning. I don't see Moist on YouTube anymore. Hope I'm around. Okay. Um, really? Maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure why that is. Are you going to, um, did you go to Kiel's page on YouTube? Let me check for you, uh, Judy Cummings, because when you go on YouTube, if you go, if you're already subscribed there and you click on Kiel's, one moment, let me go over there. Okay, no, 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 I need videos, videos. Keep in mind, my is still there, darling. My is at 57K. So when you go on YouTube, right? When you, if you're on YouTube and you see Kale, then you tap on her, her name. It takes you to the profile. Keep in mind that here is gonna show you the home. You gotta look at these tabs. You have to be on video because if you were on the live, you will not see the moist because moist is not alive. You gotta be on the video tab option, okay? Uh, Deborah Nelson said, I didn't see it either today. Okay, it's right there, guys. Let me click on it and then show you guys that it still opens up. It's still there. But I add this plane first. So let me wait till that ad move. And then it's still there for 57 k I don't know if you were, were you typing it? Maybe you were typing it in the search option. I didn't type it in the search option. I went straight to her um sorry i went straight to kill's page so if you're here you can see kill video tap the circle uh oh we tap the circle it's gonna take you directly to kill's um page itself the channel once you're on the channel then it land you on home okay and then you want to tap here to videos and you see mice at the top all right, so if, you, if you're having issues with seeing it by typing it, just go to the channel itself and you'll see it from there. Um, let me read some of what you're saying. Um, exactly, Nancy LaCarro said, often imitated, but never duplicated. Amen to that. One moment. One moment, guys. Okay. All right, so Judy, you found it. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, because that was like that. That's why I said, let me go and check it. Opal Smith said, it is hard to find when you search for it on regular YouTube. That limits the, the reach of the sound. Excuse me. It's hard to find it. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm glad that you guys got it. Awesome. So you're welcome, Deborah Nelson. So Hazel said, but they can fly to LA to be with Chucky. If they care for him, he needs their attention. Exactly. Nobody cares, honestly. If you can fly there by buying yourself a ticket, go right ahead. If you need him to buy you a ticket, you just start with him and see how y'all can make it happen. Because nobody cares what y'all do where he's concerned. Anyways, that's not our concern. That was never our concern. Our concern is promoting Korean music, streaming it 
and that's what we are interested in praying for Kiel and her children that's all it is for us so to each its own right everybody got different agenda different goals but if y'all are fascinated by the color and the blue eye you shouldn't let that fool you because apparently y'all are a fool at this moment by that what else could it be it can't be the money because they know money <laughs> like they know millions over there that you should be like yeah yeah i gotta go get some of that millions or yeah yeah he paid my my rent that i had back for, for for 10 months or a year i mean hello so all you went in for is color blue eye and to say oh i was at this person's house make it make sense because it doesn't no it's not that it's not worth it not no celebrity over there facts anyhow my people let me go and do what i got to do thank you all so much for joining me and pauline johnson thank you so much for three coffees i appreciate you thank you all for about sending stars today as well share this video just being here each and every day don't forget guys to get on and vote and some things are not even worth even wasting your time with when you see some of these nonsense out there yes you can't help but to say what would these people think of next when would these people get some thanks right and just move on with their life yes we say things like that but to give them the energy sometimes it takes too much <laughs> thanks linda monroe does it takes too much to risk it thank you for the hundred star and like it takes so much energy out of you just to, to even talk about these people because they're so useless that you don't even want to be bothered you know what i mean so let's do our best to continue to focus and leave everything in the hands of god and that includes kale and her children as well because he already got a plan for all of this we can say and we can say this we can say that we can say why don't this happen why the but you know what god already got the plan we don't know it but we just gotta wait and everything is in his timing all right uh horse is already out the out of the stable <laughs> like that you're welcome therese all right my people one moment i think somebody put something in there just now that looked interesting um true exactly i like that angela t that's what i wanted to read that she said it's painful to be dried up they need some moist get some moisture in your life instead of hating go over there and listen to moist and hear what you need or crow water pineapple <laughs> and go get it and figure out how you can get it so you can become moist and maybe that way your husband will stay in the house more because somebody's he ain't got no job but he out the house and the house is not housing <laughs> i like that margaret williams see you all god bless all of you bye, -bye.